this video is made for entertainment purposes only. Invest your money at your own risk. What is up, everyone? Safe Investor AG here. The biggest HBAR simp, Saucy Warrior. I will always say saucy no matter what happens. <sighs> Guys, um, this is, I'm going to do a deep dive on, on Jam now this is insane this could be as explosive as H bar suite um, I've obviously positioned myself for either or um, I have no clue which will explode first uh, so let's get to it now deep dive you're welcome to join the jam discord there's many, there's thousands of members in here, by the way. If you guys ever come and join up, there's a lot, a lot of people here. So anyways, let's get to it. So the best way I go, I've come to find, find out that to um, find out more about um, if, if the occasion, if, if it permits, it's through coin market cap because it gives you the complete summary if you want to do a research on a certain token so jam let's do a full deep dive so jam um, we're gonna go to website there's two there's the official website and the Hedera so to get a very a, a good summarized um, summarization of their we're gonna go through Hedera and then we're gonna go over their token. So you may see here, yes, SAM is infinite supply. Their total supply, max supply is 92 billion. Current is 3 billion. We're gonna specify um, what this means, okay? So let's get started. So we're gonna go through the H bar. So click here, and it'll take us to the H bars um, website so it was already open over here so let me close that one okay so anyways it explains why um, okay anyways tune FM is tune.fm is a web 3 decentralized music streaming platform and music NFT marketplace where the music gets played the artist get gets paid now one cent per minute streamed uh, really awesome so 10 to 100 X more earnings than existing platforms 90% streaming revenue goes to artists that's I don't know that's a, kind of a dream come true so tune FM tune FM is excited to launch the jam token on Hedera token service HTS it's the ultimate native token service that will enable us to truly realize our original vision for real-time micropayment at lightning lightning fast speeds lightning speeds with super low fees the co-founder Andrew Antar sorry the founder is Andrew Antar co-founder he's a co-founder excuse me so we're gonna do reading it's not a, it's not gonna be as boring because we're also going to go over tokenomics so it's plain and simple so you go here you can create an account I have an account this is what it looks like see there there I am Seth Investor AG so um, this is so new that let's see there's the locations um, you can search a genre like hip hop electronic there's none it's empty so this is like the very start of this nobody knows like the entire world does not know about this and yet the club is huge so their Twitter so okay you can join their telegram and in their telegram they have about 4,170 some members there's already a huge club and if you buy so this is jam it's super cheap so right now it costs like about 200 or something 
dollars to two hundred and ten dollars, two hundred and fifty dollars to own one million uh, jam tokens. And if you own one million, then you can join their one million jam whale club. <laughs> um, yeah. So and there's a there's a lot of members there, lots. Um, and so I've you know I've, I've been browsing through. Um, yeah. So this is not a tiny um, project. Now look at their Twitter. They have 45k followers. That's a lot of followers. A ton. Um, a lot, a lot, a lot of followers. So, um, let's read a little more of, uh, of their, right here. Now we're going to click on their, their actual website right here. So if you can go up here and click on visit to an FM right there. I'm already signed in anyway, so it'll look like this. All right, start discovering. When the music gets played, the art gets paid. Now, this is so simple and yet so clever of an idea. It's insane. Uh, like, it makes you think, how come no one thought about this? Because this could be a total global domination of the entire music industry through crypto. So, artist creators, we enable artists to monetize their creations directly from their fans like never before, to earn a living and control their destiny. Instant royalties. Instant royalty. Instant. How you may say, oh, but I'll get paid in jam tokens. Well, duh, the jam tokens, you can swap them for H-bars and then just cash that out through an exchange. So, anyways... And uh, earn jam for every second your music is streamed. Our micropayments technology enable instant settlement for streaming royalties. Earn upwards of 10 to 100. Okay, we already read that. Song promotion. Expand your fan base by promoting your songs with jam to verified first time listeners. Earn ROI, return on investment, from your new fans as they continue to stream and discover your music. Mint music NFTs with multiple songs, albums, art, video royalties, and experiences. Then sell them directly to your fans in our auction marketplace. Drop multi-tiered NFTs with different levels of unlockable perks and exclusive ex experiences. Okay, we'll go over the tokenomics in a second. So, um, yeah, they did it on Hedera, so they don't mess up the roadmap go through the roadmap they come long ways they really do remind it this really reminds me a lot of um, H bar suite now these are all the exchanges where you can get yourself some jam tokens in bit true Bitrix, okay, Saucer Swap, Bitmart. So the freaking token is already at many, 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 many markets. They're well established. Um This is crazy, I'm sorry. So Wallet's custody is supported by Hashpack, Mingo, Hex, Garda, um, okay, Partners and Friends, Hedera Hashgraph, the HBAR Foundation, Coin Market Cap, Stater, holy crap, Salsa Swap, Explorers, Jams. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is a legit project that has insane utility. <coughs> it, 
if if some of you watched the interview that I had with Ken Anderson, one of the main and um, the best developers of um, Hedera Hashgraph, he instructed people don't understand NFTs on its full potential. He 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 he, he now look, this is all their chairmen and all the the team. They have an actual team faces. You can see who they are. Advisors guided. Look, their team is ginormous. Investors, backers. Okay, you got LinkedIn. I mean Twitter. Sorry, not Twitter. My bad. Helix, Animalka Brands, Mind Mind Fund, the HBAR Foundation. All right, this is insane. This is crazy. Um. This is uh, this is way bigger of a project than than I imagined. Um, much 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 bigger. I mentioned before, Jam. Jam, all it needs is one artist. Just one fish. Just like H bar Sweet when I explained before. H bar Sweet just needs to catch. One enterprise, and if you don't catch an enterprise for a business, they're open to the community. The community would love to run their nodes, but but to an FM. So we're gonna read their light paper. Their excuse me, white paper. Okay. So I have it open already. You click this the white paper. Um. Okay, so you're welcome to read through all of this because I w I'm going to skip to this tokenomics, so everyone understand and not panic about oh the infinite supply. When you completely dive deep, you're going to understand that they will run out of supply. And they will almost never have enough supply. They will have to keep printing supply as long as they keep doing it responsibly. Which I think they will be doing it responsibly. Now, you're welcome to read through their white paper. Um, but we're going to just skim through it because we're going to skip through. Uh, this is their market. Okay. Um, the global recorded music industry revenue since from 99 to 2017. Uh, music label embraces uh, a rapidly changing business. Uh, I can see this. This could be a global funnel and bridge in the music industry. It could facilitate many things without skipping a beat. This is crazy. So, in, uh, so one of the main points that Ken Anderson explained about NFTs, he says, and this is why he's so bullish on Jam. And after our interview, actually, though, I, I was diving real deep on Jam, and I can see why. He explained NFTs, I, you can lend temporal permissions or temporal keys through NFTs because it's an encrypted how so I can allow you he said through an NFT I can allow you and give you permission to listen to a specific song from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Oh, or, or, or I think that's about the, the gist of what he explained uh, on Fridays and that's it so if you don't listen to it from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. on Fridays that's all you or he can adjust it that's the power of an NFT in uh, the Jam token. So, okay, we're here. Tokenomics. People that are freaking out. Oh, the infinite supply. All right. So the Hedera token service. Symbol is Jam, J-A-M, eight decimals. Fungible common. It's infinite. infinite. The supply is infinite. They're going to need this to be infinite. Maximum supply will be 92 million. Now, total supply goal will be 10 billion by 2030. 
Initial supply 1 billion, total supply 2 billion. Now, we have to read the disclaimer so we we understand it. Disclaimer. Max supply figure is based on Hedera protocol level limited as stated in their public documentation. Now, pay attention to this. If the total supply at some moment is S, Mart's, uh, parts of tokens, and the token is using D decimals, then S must be less than or equal to, well, and then you get the equation. So, in other words, we're going to, the rhetorical maximum possible supply of jam is 92 billion. There, they're giving, they're being straightforward. The team does not intend to mint this maximum supply, but instead to mint 10 billion jam tokens by 2030. So they're, they're, they're going to break it down. The intended minting content, uh, cadence is approximately 1 billion jam per year until 2030. This figure is subject to change and the exact date and time of token minting will be subject to the needs of the token and issuance and the issuance team. Okay. Adhering to the token minting schedule will limit the team's ability to circulate tokens on each exchanges and liquidity pools when needed and could potentially require minting additional tokens unnecessarily. Okay, now, the team has been busting their booty. Okay, you go in here on tweet and go on media and you read, March 27th, had a great time NFT Live doing a panel Web3 Music with founder Andrew Wontar, which is ham. Okay, so they're busting their butt promoting Jam. Okay, they're, they're, the team is, is promoting, they're hitting the ground running, just going hard. Perfect. Just what you want to see you know a focused ceo focused on one point his project tunnel minded going hard at it will he succeed yes of course he will now all it takes like i said it's a fish just one artist that is it and then it'll be over Look at it. It's already listed in so many exchanges. It's supported by so many wallets. Look at all the exchanges. Okay, they have a roadmap. This is a massive project. And you can even look at the price. Just look at the price. Um, now, you can see the price right here. Of jam token right now. now there's something going on here it's moving very slowly I'm gonna explain to you why so the infinite supply they will give updated uh, results about their tokens so this is the key that I'm gonna explain to you right now this is the crazy part Yes, I just bought a bag of this, and I plan to hold most of it for a very long time. I created myself a an account. It's very easy, very easy, super easy. Uh, to just browse around because um, I wanted to check it out, what I'm investing in. And I like it a lot. So putting the two and two together with my interview with Ken and what I'm reading and the tokenomics, they're not going to have enough. They're going to have to print a little more because people will need to get paid. And that's okay because this is still going to skyrocket. Now, currently, remember the white paper we read, okay? Remember, 1 billion jam per year until 2030. By 2030, they plan on having, uh, where was it, 10 billion jam tokens in circulation so the update this maybe I think every month or every week I don't know 
anyways. Their circulated supply is a 2.97 billion. Total current, keyword current, supply is 3 billion. That means there's only 20 million left. That's it. That's it. 20 million left. And yes, I bought some because when I put the two and two together, boom, I bought some. And look at that price. It doesn't dilute back down. That's because... In my opinion, the current supply, it's already bought. It's bought out. So we're about to see some major uptrend on JAM. Um, it's going to be insane, yes. Uh, yeah, like I can't, I'm still trying to wrap my head around this. So anyways... That's a deep dive. This project is amazing. The potential is infinite. Just like H Suite, the potential is infinite. These two projects are just gonna make people super filthy. Just, just, just gonna get so rich off of this. This will be the easiest hold you can do. Um, not financial advice. That I could do, excuse me. For the next one, two, three, five years. Aside from your current investments that you may have. Um, easy, easiest hold. I, I completely believe that they will be releasing the tokens responsibly. This is the biggest test now. They're out. I believe the Minton date that they uh, mentioned is January, which means they, it's minted until January of 2024. That's when they release another billion. That's in seven months. Eight months, what's the date? It's April. So until then, if they keep their word, now remember they said uh, what is it? Protocol level set and public announcement initial. They said this figure is subject to change, and the exact date and time of token minting will be subject to the needs of the token issuance team. So yes, it is subject to change. If if they don't change it, then. Jam my skip uh, I don't want to give any press prediction but it's too crazy so comment down below let me know what you guys think the project is almost bulletproof from the smallest artist to the biggest artist can start their own gig express their talent in many ways sh shape or forms and they can market to the entire uh, world and if someone in Africa, for example, watches their video, they'll get paid. They'll get paid. Someone across the world can watch and listen to your music for just one time, for two minutes. And look, you'll get paid one cent per minute per stream. So yes, of course, they're going to be looking for volume, but 90% of the streaming revenue will go to artists. Of course, this is gonna most likely take down the the, the Grammy. The, uh, sorry, I don't know which ones are in charge of the music industry in the U.S. This is their biggest threat. You don't think they're gonna try to at least buy a piece of this in some way, shape, or form? Or, or I don't know. I'm just speculating here. I'm just sending a little bit, but I'm holding my 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 jam tokens. I'm starting to see what um, Ken Anderson was saying in the, in in in, the, in this interview. But let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Um, okay, I gotta go to bed. It's super late. Uh, 
this is Safe Investor AG, the biggest H bar soup, saucy warrior. And y'all have a good night. This is none of this is financial advice. Do your own research and invest at your own risk. Stay saucy. Good night, everyone.